so hey so hey students today we are going to study thermodynamics so firstly system and surrounding there's a boundary universe equal to system plus surrounding conducting and non conducting conducting exchange heat non conducting thermal flask does not exchange heat rigid or non rigid compressible or flexible real or imaginary real perfect separation imaginary not perfect separation okay predicted by chemical kinetics not predict rate of reaction thermodynamics does not predict rate of reaction it it only it is predicted by chemical kinetics okay now system open system heat and matter exchange like earth our earth is a open system and closed system heat exchange only no matter exchange conducting boundary cold drink bottle satellite in orbit isolated systems no matter and heat exchange non conducting wall thermal thermos flask but not perfect isolated system thermos flask is not a perfect isolated system universe universe system and surrounding to exchange now this is very important path function heat q and w are path functions state function internal energy enthalpy entropy and gives free energy thermodynamic parameters now intensity non additive not depend on matter examples are molar mass sample study ph molarity concentration terms density boiling point melting point molar molar internal energy molar enthalpy molar entropy molar gives free energy ed cell specific temperature and extensive um, they are amount dependent and additive like examples are heat capacity and mass volume moles internal energy enthalpy entropy and gives free energy are extensive because they depend on amount and intensity properties does not depend on amount okay like you can see density is intensive division of two extensive gives an intensive moles is intensive but mass and molar mass are extensive and intensive so extensive upon intensive gives intensive and extensive upon extensive gives intensive now intensive properties non additive in nature extensive properties additive in nature ratio of two extensive properties or extensive and intensive property is intensive intensive m equal to m by v intensive by thermodynamic processes ideal gas n equal to constant isothermal process temperature constant n equal to constant delta t equal to 0 exchange of heat occurs pv equal to nrt pv variable process on ideal gas isothermal process process on ideal gas isothermal process n cp delta t delta h equal to 0 delta u equal to 0 n cp delta t delta t equal to 0 all phase transitions are isothermal process but delta h not equal to 0 and delta u not equal to 0 isochoric process volume change zero v and n are constant isochoric means volume change or constant in a closed container p and t variable work done is zero since work done p uh, delta v and delta v is zero so p so work is zero now isobaric process here baric means pressure and pressure is constant so change in pressure is zero n and p constant v and t variable open system it occurs in open system adiabatic process no heat or energy flow delta q equal to zero heat equal to zero non conducting boundaries no heat exchange occurs in adiabatic process temperature is variable and cyclic process combination of process initial and final isothermal isochoric and isobaric cyclic process initial state equal to final state so change in all state functions is zero delta t is zero delta u you have to learn that delta u equal to zero delta t equal to zero delta v equal to zero but path functions not equal to zero and path functions are work and heat so they are not equal to zero in a cyclic process reversible and irreversible reversible is quasi static हम कराते हैं इसे देयर इज अ फोर्स एक्सटर्नल फोर्स ऑफ 5 kg ऑन दिस एंड द गैस अप्लाइज प्रेशर इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शंस इन रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस यू हैव टू लर्न दैट मैक्सिमम वर्क इज डन इट इज मल्टी स्टेप इक्विलिब्रियम इक्विलिब्रियम एट एवरी स्टेप इन फाइनाइट टाइम इट टेक्स आइडियल प्रोसेस टू एक्सटर्नल वेरिएबल एफ ड्राइविंग इज ग्रेटर वर्क ऑफ रिवर्सिबल एक्सपेंशन इज मैक्सिमम मैक्सिमम वर्क डन ओके एंड इन इरिवर्सिबल Spontaneous and occurs irreversible processes occurs in nature as photosynthesis. There is a sudden change, like you put in a five kg weight suddenly, and here in irreversible, uh, irreversible what we the sand values we were kept keeping on this. Now this is single step irreversible. If single step process equilibrium, if initial and final position, finite time it takes. Real process is irreversible. P external P external is constant. Work is minimum. So, maximum work done is done in reversible process, and minimum work is done in irreversible process. Minimum work, okay. 
now work done as we know y equal to force into displacement so and f equal to pressure into area into length w equal to p external into v okay w equal to minus p external delta v irreversible process and delta p external is constant that is atmospheric pressure work done in vacuum or free expansion is zero p since p external equal to zero and work done in isoporic process is zero because since delta v is zero okay now there is a system on which when we do work on the system then it is positive and when the work is done by the system then it is taken negative so when work is done on the system it's positive and when work is done by the system it is negative when you give energy to the system then it is positive and when you take energy from the system or it loses system loses energy then it is taken as negative okay now expansion negative work and compression positive compression on and expansion by cooling temperature decreases on heating temperature increases q loss or heat loss negative and q given is positive 1 can equal to 4.184 joule or 4.2 joule you can take 1 liter atm equal to 101.3 joule 1 joule equal to 10 to the power 7 arg 1 liter atm greater than 1 can greater than 1 or joule and 1 greater than 1 arg now 2 liter of an ideal gas is allowed to expand so in expansion the work done is negative you can see here so in expansion work done is negative from 2 liter it is expanded to 12 liter against constant pressure of 2 atm then find work done in joule so you can see w equal to minus p external into v so p is 2 so minus 2 into 12 minus 2 because there is change in volume from from 2 to 12 so 12 minus 2 we will do so what it comes you can see okay and from in, uh, the work comes in liter atm so you have to change it into joule by multiplying it by 101.3 now 1 gram of H2 gas present at STP is expanded against constant external pressure of 1 atm so that final volume becomes double. Then find work done. Final volume becomes, becomes double. So, V1 is this and V. So, now work done is P into delta V. So, volume becomes double. So, 2V minus V. You can see here. Okay. 5 liter of oxygen gas present at 25 degrees C and 12 atm pressure is allowed to expand isothermally against constant external pressure of 2 atm so that isothermally P external of gas becomes 2 atm then find work done since PV equal to NRT isothermal so P1 V1 equal to P2 V2 delta T equal to 0 so we have find V2 and now we will put this V2 here and the answer is here okay now internal energy Internal energy is represented by U or E. Sum of all the energy of atoms or molecules in a system. State function, extensive property, cannot find absolute value. Analytic change is found. Delta E equal to EF minus EI. Work done or by heat loss or gain change. Okay. Bomb calorimetry. Delta V equal to constant equal to zero. Finds internal energy. Bomb calorimetry finds internal energy. Work done is zero. Zero law. A, B and C are two systems. Okay. And then a uh, non-conducting wall is present between B and C. TA equal to TB. TA equal to TC. So B, TB equal to TC. If these are in equilibrium with one another and these are in equilibrium with one another, then B, we can say that B and C are also in equilibrium with each other. Temperature of B equal to TC. First law of thermodynamics, energy conservation. U isolated system. Universe, delta U equal to Q plus W. Where Q and W are path functions, sum of two path functions gives a state function. You can see here, like change in internal energy. Sum of two path functions gives a state function. Q plus W state functions, and what they are giving a path state functions. Q and W state functions. Q plus W and Q and W are path functions. Isothermal del temperature constant, so delta T equal to zero, delta U equal to zero, and internal energy equal to zero. So Q equal to minus W. Expansion occurs because work done is negative or W equal to minus Q or heat is lost. Psychic process, in change in internal energy is zero. Q equal to minus W, W equal to minus Q. Adiabatic process, heat, loss or gain is zero. There is no conduction of heat from the system in adiabatic process. So Q equal to W. So adiabatic work is a state function. Adiabatic work is a state function. Since work is path function but it is converted into state function as it is equal to change in internal energy. Path functions behave as state functions sometimes. In adiabatic process, work behave as a state function. Because you can see why. Okay. 
Universe is an isolated system where the thing in internal energy is zero and Q equal to zero. Work done and isochoric zero. since vo volume is constant, so change in volume is zero. So work is zero. So here it acts as path fu path function and acts as a state function like isochoric energy acts as a state functions. Of one mole of C3H8. 
this propane at 25 degrees C. So, firstly, what we do, we will write reaction for this, and then then we find delta N G, and then we put that in delta H equal to delta U plus N G R T. Okay. Firstly, we will write reactions, and then we find how many gaseous molecules are there, and then we minus delta, we will find delta N G by product minus reactant gaseous molecules. So here, delta N G is negative, so delta U is greater than delta H. gases plus B gases gives 3 C gases and 2 D gases. So delta NG we will find firstly 3 plus 2 5, 5 minus 2, 2 plus 1 3, 5 minus 3 equal to 2. So delta NG is 2. So delta H equal to delta U plus NGRT. This 2 will be here and it will overall delta H is positive. Heat released at constant volume is 20 kilocal. So what is QP at 500, 500 cal? Since we know that QB equal to minus QB plus NGRT since heat is released, so it is minus. Now calculate it. Calculate difference in QP and QV, heat at constant P and heat at constant volume in combustion of 1 mole butane at 27 degrees Celsius. QP equal to QB plus NGRT, so you have to find N N delta NG by writing this reaction. And when you find that here, delta NG is minus 7 by 2. So, we will put it here, minus 7 by 2, and this is the relation. Heat of combustion of benzene in warm calorimetry, in warm cal calorimetry, QV heat at constant volume. At 27 degrees, he is minus 100 kJ per mole, then find Q released at constant pressure in combustion of 1 mole benzene at same temperature. So, firstly, we will write the reactions and find the delta NG. Delta NG is minus 3 by 2. So delta NG minus 3 by 2 and we will put those. The heat of vaporization of a liquid is 20 kilocal per mole per mole at 500 K. Then calculate delta U for the vaporization of 4 mole of liquid. So here we are seeing per mole. So for 4 mole what we want to get? Let's see. There are two methods to calculate this. For, for 1 mole what we get to 20 kilocal. So delta NG, one gas and liquid. So one minus zero, delta NG is one. So 20 cal equal to delta U plus NGRT, NG is one. So we will calculate that. 90 kilocal delta U for one mole is 19 kilocal. So for four mole, this 19 into four, 76 kilocal. Okay. Or you can write like this. For one mole, we know that this is, so we will multiply it by four. So delta NG will come four. So it will become 80 K and this 80 K will be put here and delta U plus four RT from this four and directly answer will come same answers in therapy of vaporization of h2 is 40.63 kilojoule per mole per mole then find delta u for vaporization of 90 gram of water so firstly we will find how many how many moles in 90 gram of water so moles equal to w by m you can see my previous lecture on moles to find how we will we can calculate moles 90 upon 18 equal to 5 moles so moles becomes 5 so for one mole there is 40.63 kilojoule so for five moles there is 203.15 cal okay one mole of gas undergo a change of a state 2 liter atm 3 liter and 80 k to 4 atm 5 liter and 2 for 5 k if change in delta u is 30 liter atm then calculate change in delta h means h in happy so you can see p2 v2 minus p1 v1 we will use one liter of ideal gas is heated at constant pressure until its volume gets double if p external is 1 atm and q supplied is 300 joule qp then find delta h and delta u since firstly we will use internal energies formula and then we will put that internal energy here okay to find delta h Put this here and find the answer. Heat capacity. Given amount 1 degree Celsius temperature increases or 1 K. Extensive heat capacity is an extensive property because it depends on amount. And it is a part function. Heat capacity equal to Q by delta T. And so its unit is joule per K. Molar heat capacity. If heat capacity upon moles, part function, joule per Kelvin per mole. Per Kelvin per mole is the unit. Specific heat capacity: one joule, one gram 
1 degree Celsius or 1K temperature increases specific heat capacity equal to molar heat capacity upon molar mass. Joule per kit per gram. At constant pressure, Cp equal to Qt by delta T. Qt equal to Cp delta T equal to delta H. Qe equal to Cp delta T equal to delta U. For n moles, Qp equal to Ncp delta T. Qe equal to Ncv delta T. For m grams, Qp equal to Ncp delta T. Qe equal to Ncv delta T. Delta H equal to delta U plus NGRT. So delta H equal to NCP delta T and delta U equal to NCV delta T plus NGRT. Since NG, NG, NG are cancelled, so CP equal to CV plus R. This is Mayer's formula. And Poisson's ratio gamma equal to CP by CV. CV equal to FR by 2, CP equal to 1 plus F by 2R, gamma equal to 1 plus 2 by F. For monoatomic gas, F equal to 3 to CV equal to 3R by 2, CP equal to 5R by 2, gamma equal to 1 plus 2 by 3 equal to 5 by 3 equal to 1.66. Diatomic gas, F equal to degree of freedom, 5. CV equal to 5R by 2, CP equal to 7R by 2, gamma equal to 7 by 5, 1 plus 4, 1.4. CP and CV are state functions. If 1000 joule of heat is absorbed by 180 gram of water such that temperature increases from 20 degrees C to 70 degrees C, delta T, therefore delta T is 50 degrees C, then calculate heat, molar heat capacity and a specific heat capacity. If heat capacity of O2 gas is 320 joule per k per mole, then calculate specific heat capacity. If 10 mole of H2 gas is heated such that increases from 10 degrees C to 110 degrees C, then calculate delta H if molar heat capacity at constant volume is 21.2 joule per k per mole. An ideal gas expands from 10 liter to 20 liter against constant pressure of 280. The work done during expansion of gas is used to heat 10 mole of water of initial temperature 300 K. Then calculate the final of H2. Specific heat capacity of water is 4.2 joule per cal per gram. Since work done is minus 3 external delta V, so we will find the work done which comes this. And then work done at constant pressure is equal to QP. So work equal to MCP delta T. So we can calculate. Work in different processes. W equal to minus T external delta V irreversible. Work in vacuum of free expansion is zero. Work in closed rigid container is zero. Work in chemical reactions is minus N delta N P minus N R R T P minus P delta V or minus delta N G R T. In closed rigid container volume is constant, so delta V equal to zero isochronic. Closed rigid container means isochronic process. Work in reversible isothermal. W reversible equal to minus P external delta V equal to minus P internal delta V. NGRT by V dV minus NRT dV by V minus NRT ln V2 by V1. Expansion. Work reversible. Maximum work. Q reversible. Minus 2.3 of minus 2.303 NRT log V2 by V1 or 2.303 NRT log V1 by V2. W reversible isothermal equal to minus 2.303 NRT log V2 by V1 or minus 2.303 NRT log V1 by V2. Wells law P inversely proportional to V. Work in reversible adiabatic process. Delta U equal to Q plus W. Since adiabatic so Q is 0, so we will cancel that. So delta U equal to W. NCV delta T equal to W adiabatic. NCP minus R from Mayer's formula we will, we will put here. Delta T equal to W. So, W adiabatic equal, equal to NRT delta T, gamma minus 1, NRT2 minus NRT1 by gamma minus 1, P2, V2 minus P1, V1 by gamma minus 1. Work in isobaric process, W equal to minus P delta V, minus P, V2 minus V1, minus P, V2 minus P, V1, NRT2 minus NRT1. So, work in isobaric is minus NR delta T or minus NRT to minus T1. Work which of following is correct about isothermal free expansion of ideal gas. Since this is free expansion, so W is 0, delta uh, U is 0, P external is 0, delta U is 0 for isothermal process, delta H is 0 for isothermal process, and temperature change is also 0. So delta H equal to 0, delta U equal to 0, work is 0, Q is 0, delta T is 0, P external is 0. Which of following is incorrect about isobaric process? Since isobaric 
process we know that delta q p equal to delta h w equal to minus p v two minus v one isobaric means constant pressure w equal to minus n r delta t so no one is incorrect all are correct ten mole of an ideal gas is allowed to expand isothermally and reversibly from ten deci mole per cube to hundred deci meter cube at twenty seven degrees c three hundred cal when then calculate delta u delta h w and heat isothermal delta t equal to zero delta u delta h is zero so isothermally first we will calculate and so reversibly then we will uh, use this formula for reversible work minus two point three zero three nrt log v two by v one hundred two by ten hundred by ten so log ten uh, comes one so value is this at twenty seven degrees c sixteen gram of oxygen is allowed to expand isothermally from three cc to twenty five cc calculate work maximum and we know maximum work done is done in reversible process so we will use the formula minus two point three zero three n r t log v two by v one and from sixteen uh, grams so moles will be sixteen upon thirty two half moles so half at twenty seven degrees c one mole of an ideal gas is allowed to two. Expand in reversible adiabatically and work done is three kilojoule. Then find final temperature of gas. Molar heat capacity at constant volume is twenty joule per Kelvin per mole. Since for adiabatic process, adiabatically work equal to n r t two minus t one by gamma minus one. So we will find C B is given here twenty to so C B equal to C B plus r. C B plus r. So gamma equal to C B upon C B, and we will put here. Then for 150 upon 39, so answer will come. 